What's up guys, Shockwave640 here, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Combiner Wars Blades. And, well, here is Blades, and let's get the Shockwaves out of the way here, and we can take a closer look at the figure. So, bringing in Blades right here, let's do some size comparisons as we always do first, unless I forget, because sometimes I'm a stupid, so. First up, we have Generation 1 Astro Trains. You can see about how big these two are together. So, Blades is just a little bit longer, just barely longer. It's mainly just because of this tail section. If this tail section was gone, he would be, uh, he would be about the same size as Astro Train. Oh, I'm putting him off to the side. Um, here is... Here he is with Figma Link, doing his Skyward Strike pose. As you can see how big he is with a Figma character. Considering, sadly, this is the only Figma I have. I wish I had more, but they are really expensive. And here is my still not complete Combiner Wars Bruticus. Sadly, yes, he is not complete. And he probably never will be because I cannot find a Vortex and I don't know where to find one. But there you can see how he scales with Vortex. And I did um, do a little bit of customization to this guy with folding his arms up like this. And then I got these little side bits using hand foot guns on the sides to kind of beef him out a little bit. I got that from another YouTuber. I can't remember the name exactly, but that's where I got that idea from. And then I just kind of put the arms up like that and made him hold the guns. That way his cannons are sticking up higher and they are not uh, really short and hardly noticeable. So that's what I have done with Bruticus. Um, so let's take a closer look at Blades. His hand foot gun can plug right down here into this port and his gun can plug in to either side or to the bottom if you want it to. But setting those off to the side, we will take a look at them in a second. But here is Blades in his rescue helicopter mode. Um, I really, really, really like this figure. I know he's gotten a lot of hate. Um, I know Vortex has gotten a lot of hate as well, but I don't really see why. I mean, this mold is amazing. I love this mold so much. Probably one of the best molds. Now, it is a little bit bland, and the arms are obviously right there, but I still think it works. I still really like it. Um, if you rotate his head backwards like this, he doesn't have the visible head syndrome, really, unless you count the back of his head. I really only count as visible head syndrome if you can blatantly see the face sticking out right there. But um, of course the propeller does roll, oh, does roll, does spin, uh, doesn't exactly spin freely, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of wibbly wobbleness to it so it makes a lot of friction happen so it doesn't exactly spin as freely as I would like him to but he does still spin. Um, you got some black paint up here in the front, got a white stripe going all the way down continuing along the side and going on the fins with the very nice uh, Autobot Coastal Rescue with the Autobot symbol right there. It says Rescue right down there with the two anchors and the Autobot Rescue symbol, um, which I'm guessing is the Protectobot symbol, which is actually the complete opposite of the um, the Con Combaticon logo, which is basically just Bruticus's chest in purple with a Decepticon symbol in the very middle. Um, on the other side, it's exactly the same. We got some gray, some silver here on these missiles. Okay, the one thing I hate about this figure, well, I don't really hate it, I just don't think it suits it very well, is these silver missiles. It's a rescue helicopter with missiles. I think that they should have just remolded these forearms and given him maybe like water pods or like a water hose and maybe a raft or like some ladders or rolled up ladders or something besides missiles. Um, it does prove how lazy Hasbro was with the Combiner Wars line that they just kind of left the missiles there and didn't bother remolding them and yet whenever the uh, the female Combiner team came out they bothered remolding these to give little fins these to give little fins I believe um, they remolded these sections and they remolded a lot but uh, another thing I want to point out is he does have like wings that are supposed to continue like this white paint should go all the way across here because you can tell there's supposed to be kind of like some wings like there's the rudders right here and then this would be the rest of the wing but for some reason they didn't paint that I think it would have looked okay like if they painted the rest of this upper arm red or silver and then continued that white going across and then on the rudders I think that would look nice but for some reason they didn't 
And then also the red plastic does have a nice sparkly swirly finish to it, which a lot of Combiner Wars figures do have, which I love. Um, my copy has a few issues, like this nose cone section will not stay together whatsoever. It just does not like to stay together. And then this section right here, as you can see, it kind of barely likes to come undone. It doesn't like to tab in all the way. Now it clicks in, you can hear it. It just, it lifts off a little bit instead of being perfectly flush. Not sure if that's a, just me nitpicking, but it is kind of annoying. Um, and then also if you want to, you can rotate this back fin all you want. The rotor does not spin though, sadly, but so yeah. Let's get down to transformation. First, we will go into leg mode. So get in, getting into leg mode is very easy. You just want to unclick, untab this piece. This uses these two tabs and goes into these two ports. And as you can see, it just kind of fills in the red like so. So you just want to bring that up. You're going to rotate his head facing forward and then bring the combiner port all the way down. And I rotate the head so that you can't see his face. You're going to bring this section up and then you're going to tab these two tabs into these two ports right here, like so. There you go. And then you can grab these sections and bring them up like so and kind of tuck them in. What I like to do is untab this just a little bit like that. That way they can lock in and they don't move around. Then what you want to do is you want to come in here and unclip these two pieces, fold them straight up, separate the nose cone. It just tabs in there, going into there. And then these tabs here clip in right there whenever we're going into helicopter mode. Then you rotate these and it tabs in with this tab right here and goes into that port like so it doesn't really tab in all this is secure it's really just a place for it to go and then this one goes right there I believe that is all there is to it then you grab his hand foot gun take a look at that real quick uh, it's kind of bland it has these little Gatling guns here on the front um, not really much going on it's got a white joint right there for some odd reason um, and then it just pegs in right here like so very securely thankfully and then just kind of flatten everything down and there you have blades in a foot mode now I think that this mold works great as a leg I really do like the way that this leg looks it looks very nice you still do have uh, the ratcheted swivel there you do have the knee joint there there is enough clearance to actually give him the knee because there's a little spot cut out there for his head to fit through and then you can swivel the foot around and move the toe up and down and you can waggle it side to side for some odd reason. So that's pretty much it for the leg mode. Now, pulling that hand foot gun off. Now let's get him into arm mode. Uh, a little bit more complicated, but it's pretty much the same with all Combiner Wars figures. I just like to straighten these out, just kind of getting them out of the way. Or you can really, you can really just fold them down like that if you want to. Um, let's see, what do you, where do we do? Uh, bring this back up, rotate the head once more, bring that down like so. Uh, untab these to get them out of the way like so. You come in here and untab this section, bringing that up, untab that, bringing that down, untab this, which just clips in using these two tabs going into these two slots and then when going into helicopter mode or leg mode you just kind of sandwich this down a little bit and then these two tabs will go into these two holes right there so just kind of um, tab this very securely bring the legs up all the way on this double hinge straighten out the knees and then bring these back in and these tabs will go into those ports that right there right behind his knees like so make sure you get those tabbed in nice and securely rotate his waist you can bend his knees down like so or um, I've seen some people just have it like this uh, to just give him the one jointed elbow I like to give him the double jointed elbow it's more articulation uh, then if you want to you can bring this back down like so just a little bit and then you can either fold these up like so or you can leave them out in the typical uh, helicopter arm style like this. 
so that you can have the little helicopter blade right there. I'm just gonna fold these up so that they're not in the annoying and in the way. I'm just kind of bring that up a little bit to keep those locked into place. And then what you do with the arms, uh, the instructions tell you to bring them back and then bend them down like this, I believe is what they told you to do. So just kind of bring them up and bend them back like so. And I thought they tabbed in somewhere, but I guess not. Huh. So you just kind of bring them up and leave them in like so. Set the arm right there. Bring in the hand foot gun, grab on this tab, flip out the fingers, hinge that down, bring this up, and bring the thumb down like so. Plug it in right there. And there you have uh, Combiner Wars Blades in his hand foot gun mode, which is a very cool looking arm. Uh, same, exa same exact articulation as every other arm has. You have the rotation here. If you transform it this way, you have the double jointed elbow. You have a swivel. You have this joint to go in and out. You have the fingers all on one hinge. The thumb can go down like so, and you can give yourself a thumbs up. And then if you want to have them as a left arm, you just simply bring them around, rotate this like so, and then bring this around and bring the thumb up, and voila, you have another arm. Um, what I like to do for the arm mode is bring this arm down and tab it in like so. And then I like to usually bring these out like so and have the little propeller arm kind of thing going on. And then for blades, I like to fold this in like so. But if I had vortex, I would just keep it out. And this is how I like to have uh, blades as an arm right there. Now, uh, just keep in mind, if I do get Vortex, I'm not going to review him. I'm not going to review the same toy twice. It's pretty much the exact same toy, just with a different head. It's just a repaint of Alpha Bravo. No remolding done whatsoever. So I'm not going to review. I don't review remolds unless it's heavy retooling and it looks completely different. I'm not going to review repaints. That's just pointless to me. But, um, so yeah, there you go. Now to get him into his robot mode. Transforming that back. Getting into robot mode from here is very easy. You just want to rotate this so you have it facing forward. It does kind of have a locking point whenever you bring it in. It just kind of floops in the place, I guess you could say. Or foop, foops, foop, foop, foop. I can't see that word, but straight down his arm. Untab it if you have them tabbed in. I kind of like to click them one joint up. Bring that down. Rotate his head. Uh, rotate this section back like so kind of bring his arms out on un um, clip his legs there's a, a post and a post and a post and a post and then holes simultaneously and then if you have this propeller down you just want to bring that up like so and then I like to bring his little butt flap up a little bit to kind of hold that into place and there we have Transformers Combiner Wars blades in his robot mode very cool robot mode. I do quite like this. Uh, size comparisons. Here we have Astro Train. Here we have Figma Link. And here we have the big boy Bruticus. Like so. Not going to bother uh, upscaling the camera again. This just takes too much time. Um, let me angle this up a little bit. And take a look at the details. Uh, his head sculpt, very cool. Love the metallic blue. Love the dark blue for his eyes in there. Uh, it does look like they were originally going to give him light piping just because his eyes are a separate piece of plastic is what it looks like. And then they just painted it blue. Um, would have been cool if he had like light blue light piping or something like that. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, silver there and silver here and an Autobot symbol. Uh, the silver forearms with the missiles on them. And then the rescue and the stripes carry over with the black paint from the windshields. Uh, nothing much really, and then he's got black there on his feet, and that's pretty much it for him. Um, then also has the rescue there and the silver propeller. If you want to, you can have the propeller to the side like it is packaged in the box, or you can have it overhanging his head like so, which is usually usually how I display him. But for Vortex, as I said earlier, I would just have him like this, 
That way it just looks more appropriate. Um, his gun, right here, very nice gun. Uh, you got the little machine gun bullets there and I some kind of sight. And then his very long barrel. But then you turn the gun around and just a whole bunch of hollow. But it is cool that they did try to compensate for it. You can see like a little gear inside of there and some pistons. And like a chain or a hinge inside of there. And then you got this spring right here and another piston. So at least they did try to compensate it for it. And that just simply plugs right into his hand, like so. And then you can have him blasting away Decepticons at your leisure. If I can get him to stand. So there we go. There is the Transformers Combiner Wars Blades. Very cool figure. I do recommend him. But I personally would probably rather get Alpha Bravo or Vortex just because I prefer their color schemes. But this figure is cool nonetheless. Now let's get into the voting when this will be reviewed tomorrow hopefully hopefully i have the time but um for today's voting we had the high grade goof custom not to be confused with the goof prototype that i reviewed uh quite a while back uh we have the high grade gundam build fighters star build strike right here and the high grade unicorn Sinanju, if I can get him in frame because he's big. So, as always, the eye it should be right up there, and you can choose which one of these figures you want to be seen tomorrow. We have, if I can get that tapped in, stop coming undone. We have the high grade unicorn Sinanju, the high grade build fighters Star Build Strike, and the high grade Goof Custom. So. I am Shockwave 640 and this was Combiner Wars Blades and I'll be seeing you later my little logicons. Peace!